Thank you, President. Thank you, colleagues, for what was a really interesting debate and a very timely one. And I think the number of speakers in this debate shows how there is really uh, a huge interest in it, and rightly so. It's about bees, farmers, but it's about food. Um, I think also, and you acknowledge this, the Citizens' Initiative is a really powerful tool to get people involved in EU policy making. Um, and if you look at this Citizens' Initiative, it is very much in sync with the Commission's ongoing efforts to address the decline of biodiversity and accelerate the transition towards more sustainable agriculture. And for us as policymakers, that support of our citizens is key. I think it also confirms that we are on the right track with the strategies we adopted under the European Green Deal and with the two proposals on nature restoration and the sustainable use of plant protection products. But I recognize there is a lot of debate still to be had on those uh, proposals. We will now, with this citizens' initiative, enter the final stage. Uh, the Commission will have its formal response, uh, draw its conclusions, and announce any action it may intend to take uh, as a follow-up. And that will be done by way of reply by April 7th. I want to always also rather share with you two other um, proposals we're examining under successful uh, initiatives from citizens. One is stop finning, stop the trade, and the second one, save cruelty-free cosmetics. And there will be one more to follow. I think people, citizens of Europe, are engaging more in our policy making. That's growing stronger and it's welcome. But I do hope that it's reflected in higher turnouts at the next elections for the European Parliament. Uh, I think our debate and the European Citizens Initiative shows that we take very seriously the concerns expressed by citizens. Um, and we do need the trust of citizens in our ongoing work. If I may, without um, uh, diverting too much, I was very happy, Madame Melchior, that you mentioned gardeners and gardening and that bees are also in urban areas and that perhaps we are all tidying up nature too much and maybe we should just let it be. Thank you.